The Lord gave me the healing mandate to heal a zillion. He said, bring healing to the sick worldwide. Psalm 107 verse 20. I said, how? He said, go with my word. He asked me, if there are one billion people who are sinners, that hear the gospel and uh, confess Jesus as the Lord and Savior, he said, will he save them? I said, yes. He said, so if there are 10 billion that hears the gospel, or that hear the gospel rather, believes in Jesus as the Savior, will he save them in one day, one moment? I said, yes, sir. He said, remember that I forgive all sins, your sins, and I heal all sicknesses, your sicknesses. Which one is easier to say your sins are forgiven or rise up and go home healed? He said, but that you may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins. He said to the man, get up and carry it and go home. Mark chapter 2 from verse 1 to verse 12. And the paralytic got up and went home. Jesus forgives every sin. Jesus heals every sickness. There is no sin you have that you cannot forgive right now. And there's no sickness in you that you cannot clear off right now. All you need is to believe. So he told me, go with my word. Tell them what I've said. Tell them what I've done. All who will hear and believe that I sent you to bring it to them that receives you and receives your word will be free. Hear me. I'm not here to make noise. I'm here to make you whole. You can't hear me and be sick. You can't receive my word and remain sick. It's impossible. A faithful ambassador is health. A faithful ambassador brings healing and health. Proverbs 13, verse 17. A faithful ambassador is health. Verse 17, the King James Version. A faithful ambassador brings healing. The Revised Standard Version. A faithful ambassador brings health. The New King James Version. So, what I have, he has sent me to bring to people, and nobody can receive me and not have what I carry. And nobody can reject me and have what I have. It's impossible. For you to receive a package, you receive the one who is the messenger. So if you hear me and believe that he sent me to bring him to you, they will mark the last day you will ever know sickness. On the 7th of January 2012, the Lord commanded me on this particular day, saying, heal a zillion. It was also written and given to me. The scripture he gave me was Proverbs 13, verse 17. A faithful ambassador is held. A faithful ambassador brings healing. My faithful ambassador brings my health to the people. So, I send you, go and set them free from sickness. Hear me. Until you are free from sickness, you are not free. God made man in his image and likeness. That image is the image of health. Until you are healed, you are not saved. Adam was not sick in the beginning. Adam was righteous. Adam was holy. Adam was free from sin. Adam was free from sickness. Until sin entered, Adam was never sick. So sin came and sickness came with it. If sin goes, sickness must go with it. If you claim to be forgiven and you are sick, let's say you are not saved. You may think I'm joking. You are still a puppet in the hands of the devil. Because God is behind every sickness. Every sickness. So when you are sick, you are still under the bondage of the devil. And Christ came for this purpose, to destroy the works of the devil. That's why he sent me. Until sickness is destroyed and you are set free. You are not saved. There are many who go to church who think they are saved. And they are playing with sickness. Some have HIV. Some have kidney failure. Some have all kinds of sicknesses. Listen, they are all under the touch of the devil. And God wants them set free. That's why he sent me. If you have any of people, please tell them to connect. You cannot connect with me on this platform and be sick. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. The Lord sent me to heal. 9th of January 2012, the Lord said to me, your job description is in Acts 10, 38. Go. Go about. Do good to all and heal all that are oppressed of the devil. Bring healing to the sick. Heal the sick. 
of every manner of sickness and of every manner of disease. On the 28th of February, 2012, the Lord again said to me, focus on this one thing, healing. Forget the past. Look forward. Press on to bring healing to the sick worldwide. Heal a zillion. In Luke 10, 18 and 19, he said, I beheld Satan like lightning fall from heaven. Why that JC? He has come to steal, kill, and destroy. He makes poor, he makes sick, he destroys poor with those two things. So if you are poor or sick, you will quickly be destroyed. Until you are free from poverty and sickness, you are still a, a toy in the hands of the devil. I'm here with the way out. You can't hear me and be sick. He gave me the seed to sow. The seed is the key to your prosperity and the key to your healing. If you can receive the world seed, God has given us his word for your freedom from sickness and the word for your freedom from poverty. Until you hear the word, you are not entitled to any benefit from God. My prayer for you is that you will hear. Jesus said, I am come that they may have life as the living word may flesh and have life in abundance. So you want to know what to do to be free from Sickness is in the world. You want to know what it takes to be free from poverty is in the world. So he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Poverty is a destroyer. Sin is a destroyer. Satan is a destroyer. Curses destroy. This, all of these wicked works of the devil cannot stand anywhere the word goes. My prayer for you is that from today, you will not play with the word you are hearing. I'm here as his messenger, sent to bring healing to a zillion, to tell you that today will mark the last day you will ever be sick. If you can believe that he sent me, and you receive me as his messenger, you can be free. When I say you are free, you are free. He says stop anything after the destruction. When I say Satan stop, Satan stops. When I say sickness, stop, sickness stops. When I say this is go, they must depart. Now by authority in the name of Jesus Christ, I release you from every hold of sickness and disease. Call your doctor for a checkup or go down for a checkup. They'll tell you that sickness is over. It's no more there. You can't have it anymore. You are free. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. See you.